Hello, everyone. Welcome to my Scampi tutorials. Today, I'm going to show you how to subset cell clusters from a Scampi object. First, let's know the order dependencies. Now we can read our object that we produced in a uh, tutorial 2 and we named it as ipf one nin h 5 ad So let's use the plot function to have a look at the cell clusters in our object. We can put the labels on. So you can see we have uh, six cell types here, male fibroblast, fibroblast, endocellular cells, immune cells, smooth muscle cells, and parasites. So we can use the uh, a data observations function to have a look at all the observations. You can see here we have the gene counts total counts, total counts for mitochondria DNA, percentage of mitochondria DNA, and we perform the latent analysis to label all the cell clusters. So we have six types of cells here, but you only can see parasite, fibroblast, and the smooth muscle cells. So let's run this code to list all the cell types. So you can see, we can see all the cell types, parasites, fibroblast, myofibroblast, fibroblast, smooth muscle cells, immune cells, and endocellular cells. So now you know what we have in the object. Let me start to show you how to subset cell clusters from our object. First, we can just subset the fibroblast cluster. So we can access the fibroblast cluster through the opposition of Naden. If we just want to subset one cell cluster, we can write the code like this. Uh, a data observations Naden equals fibroblast. After subset, we name it as B data. So now we have a B data, we can have a look at the B data. You can see uh, in the B data, we only have 1,423 cells uh, and uh, 1,420 genes for the cell clusters of fibroblast. So we can uh, have a look at the observations. Now you can see we only have fibroblast in the laden clusters and also we can uh, plot the cell clusters so you can see we only have one cell clusters for the fibroblast we can perform the laden analysis again with the same resolution 0 0.2 for the b data if we run now we have a look at the cell clusters again. You can see we didn't change the uh, shape of the cell cluster. Looks the same, but we have uh, three cell clusters here now. So if we uh, run the um, find the neighbors and the uh, uh, U map and run the need again, we will change the shape of the cell cluster, we can have a look at the UMAP now. You can see the shape of fibroblast cell cluster changed. Now we have uh, two cell clusters. So next I show you how to subset uh, two, two or uh, more than two three clusters. So we can name the cell clusters that we want to subset 
the m here then we can use the is in function to subset the cell clusters for example if we want to subset the fibroblast and the marrow fibroblast we can just put the fibroblast and the marrow fibroblast here if we want to subset a three cell canister so we can just for example we can put a um, parasite here so let's run the function uh, now we name it as C data so we can uh, list the cell canister in the C data again if we run you can see now we have parasites fibroblast and marrow fibroblast if we run the plot umap function again to see the cell clusters, you can see we have three clusters, myofibroblast, fibroblast, fibroblast, and the parasites. So the cell clusters look the same as uh, A data because we just did the uh, subset function. So if we run uh, find the neighbors, run umap and performs laden to find the cell clusters. We still use resolution 0 0.2. We will change the shape of cell clusters here. Let's run. Now we can run plot function to see the cell clusters. So you can see now the uh, shape of cells clusters changed. So when we run um, 0 0.2 for the fibroblast cluster, we have two uh, clusters. You can see here are uh, two clusters for fibroblast. This cluster cells are myofibroblast. Here is the cluster for parasite. So uh, in today's video, I showed you how to subset cell clusters from an uh, analyzed object. If you like my video or want to watch my new videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.